with North Dakota sophomore forward Brett Brunito. Brett, we want to talk about uh, the beginnings and uh, where you're from, and we know you're from Nebraska, Omaha. In fact, or from Omaha, Nebraska, a lot of guys going home for games this year, and uh, you'll be one of them, huh? Yeah, I am. How did it start? Uh, well, I actually grew up watching Nebraska Omaha play. Uh, my dad was was one of the people who helped uh, start up that program. Um, so uh, there's definitely a little bit of emotion when I go back home, and I'll definitely have a little extra for those games. But uh, I'm very excited to head back there. To be a good hockey player, uh, it's in your genes, isn't it? I mean, you go back in your lineage and you got some NHLers in, in your background, huh? Yeah, that's right. Uh, my grandfather played for the Detroit Red Wings. Uh, his brother, Moderay, also played uh, with the Red Wings. And their other brother, Johnny, played with Montreal. And right now I got uh, a couple brothers in college hockey. My brother, Matt, is at Lake Superior State. And then my other brother, Nick, is with uh, University of Vermont. And then hopefully the youngest will be on his way. He's a senior in high school. <laughs> what does that get like when you, all of you guys get together? Well, we uh, had a couple of minor fights, altercations this summer about which conference would do the best, and then obviously which team. I'd like to think I got an upper hand on those two this year. Um, but no, my, my mom's not really a big fan of us uh, going after each other about it. Obviously a hockey playing family right from, from your youth. Huh? Mm -hmm. Shattuck, another I'm Shattuck trained. guy, how'd you get there? Well, uh, when I was much younger, back in middle school, sixth, seventh grade, uh, I kind of realized that if I was going to continue playing hockey, Unfortunately, I'd have to leave my hometown and, and uh, head somewhere else where the exposure was a little better, along with the coaching. And uh, Shattuck represented an opportunity that was somewhat close, about uh, six hours away from Omaha, and also had a, a great academic side of it, too. That, did, that make, did that make it easier to, to advance in, in school, the fact that they climbed down on you pretty good there? <laughs> Without a doubt, uh, we had to spend, well, we had mandatory study hall every night for two hours. From the USHL then to North Dakota, how, how did that go? Well, it was quite a jump. Um, anytime you, you move on to a higher paced level, uh, you know, there's obviously going to be adjustments that need to be made. Um, there's definitely a faster pace with, with college hockey, and there's obviously more skill involved too. But uh, I'd like to think I'm making the adjustment pretty well. What's Brett Brunetto going to do when he's done playing hockey? Well, hopefully that's not for a while, but... Uh, um, right now, I'm working towards uh, an entrepreneurial degree that I hope to obtain this summer. And then uh, my junior, senior year, I'm, I'm looking into law school. Brett, best of luck. Thanks for this. Thank you. North Dakota forward, Brett Perunitone.